now let us discuss the next topic exponents and powers now we know that the mass of the earth and the mass of the uranus now if you consider the mass of the earth so it is very large number because after 597 so there are 22 zeros and if you see the mass of the uranus after 868 so there are 23 zeros so these larger numbers are very difficult to read understand compare and else and also operate means like addition subtraction and if you consider the another larger numbers so like distance between the sun and saturn so that is also very larger number so after 14335 so there are eight zeros and if you see the distance between uranus and saturn so there also after 1439 nine zeros so which distance is larger or which distance is smaller and here which has the greater mass and which has a smaller mass so we cannot compare easily because so these larger numbers are very difficult to read understand compare compare and also operate means using the basic operations like addition subtraction and multiplication and division so then how to overcome this problem so to overcome this problem to read and to understand the larger numbers easily we use the concept of exponents the larger numbers are written in the shorter form using the concept of exponents now let us see what are the exponents now for example thousand so we multiply 10 3 times so 10 into 10 into 10 then we get the product 1000 so if 10 is multiplied 3 times so then we write 10 to the power of 3 so here the base is 10 and 3 is called the exponent 10 is called the base and 3 is called the exponent now this 10 to the power of 3 actually it is read as 10 raised to the power of 3 or we can write we can say it as third power of 10 so similarly if 10,000 is obtained by multiplying 10 four times so 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 so this 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 means 10 is multiplied 4 times the, this can be written as 10 to the power of 4 so here also 10 is called the base and 4 is called the exponent so this is actually read as 10 raised to the power of 4 or 4th power of 10 now similarly so here also the 4 is the exponent and the 10 is called the base now there are other numbers which have the bases other than 10 for example if 2 is multiplied 5 times so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 5 if 2 is multiplied 5 times so this can be written as 2 to the power of 5 so here 2 is called the base and 5 is called the exponent now this can be read as 2 raised to the power of 5 or 5th power of 2 for example if 7 is multiplied 3 times so 7 into 7 into 7 now this equals to 7 to the power of 3 so here 7 raised to the power of 3 or 3rd power of 7 so here also 7 is the base and 3 is the exponent now there is other name for power 3 or exponent 3 and exponent 2 for example if 8 is multiplied 2 times so 8 into 8 so this equals to 8 to the power of 2 so this is second power of 8 or 8 raised to the power of 2 so this for exponent 3 and for exponent 8 so these numbers these powers have the other names called here 7 to the power of 3 so this is also called as 7 cubed and 8 to the power of 2 so this is also called as 8 
squared. So if any base has the power has the exponent 3 then we say that that number cubed or if any number has the exponent 2 then we say that that number squared. So similarly we can say that if 9 is multiplied 2 times so 9 into 9 so this equals to 9 to the power of 2 or uh, this is also read as 9 squared and if 14 is multiplied 3 times so then we write 14 to the power of 3 so this is also read as 14 cube so when the exponent is 2 then it has got other name called squared when the exponent is 3 then it has got the other name cubed now what about the exponents of the negative numbers now for example if minus 2 is multiplied 4 times so we write minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 so here the negative number minus 2 is multiplied 4 times so means minus 2 is raised to the power of 4 so we write it as minus 2 whole to the power of 4 so here minus 2 is the base and 4 is the exponent similarly if minus 5 is multiplied 3 times so minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 so this equals to here minus 5 is raised to the power of 3 so we write minus 5 is raised to the power of 3 minus 5 whole to the power of 3 so here also minus 5 is the base and 3 is the exponent now these exponents are used to expand the larger numbers like for example 7 lakh or 75,964 so if you want to expand this number then we use exponents here now first we will write the numbers in the expansion form so this is 75,000 so first 7 into 10,000 plus 5 into 1000 plus 9 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 4 is in the units place so we write 4 into 1 so as 7 is in the 10,000's place we write 7 into 10,000 and here 5 is in the 1000's place so we write 5 into 1000 9 in the 100's place 9 into 100 6 in the 10's place so 6 into 10 and 4 in the units place so 4 into 1 then we write so these numbers in the exponential form now 7 into 10,000 can be written as 10 to the power of 4 means 10 raised to the power of 4 plus 5 into 1000 can be written as 10 to the power of 3 or 10 cubed plus 9 into 100 can be written as 10 squared or 10 to the power of 2 plus 6 into 10 to the power of 1 plus see the exponents of the 10 are in the decreasing order 4 3 2 1 so then the last one is 4 into 10 to the power of 0 now even we can write the we can write the expansions of the decimal numbers using the negative exponents of the base 10